Okay guys, so I'm going to do a little review on these little silicone cups and stirs. Comes with four of these. Two of these. And then this one big cup, which I'm not going to use right now just because I don't do molds and things like that. Um, but from what I understand, you put your resin in there, you pour it, leave your stir stick in there, let it dry, it pulls right out, you kind of wipe them out, and you're ready to use them again. Now, I, I bought these um, so I didn't have to keep buying um, reusable medicine cups like these, but the one thing I noticed when I got them I don't know if you can see that, but they only go, I guess it may go down to 10. It's hard. I don't know what that mark is. Let's see. Yeah, that's 10. I don't know how accurate that is, though. Um, I guess I could measure it out and, and check it with some water and, and see. Because um, my whole point was, like I said, is to reuse them, save on the plastic help the uh, the world a little bit um, and cut some of my expenses down so um, I've already got my resin poured um, we're gonna see if it eliminates some of the bubbles uh, my resin's been sitting here for probably 10 minutes um, and it has, has a few bubbles but nothing like it has in the past um, supposedly using popsicle wooden popsicle sticks um, helps create bubbles and I don't want that. So we're gonna pour it and we're gonna test it right here with you. So let me get set up here um, and we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So I get the old selfie stick out. I'm not using my uh, facial recognition stick, which is awesome. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I have a video on it. I can't believe that there hasn't been that many views on it yet um, because this, that thing is awesome. It follows you around like you know you you put your face there and it'll follow you around but that's that's for something else you guys aren't here for that but go check it out there's a video in my YouTube here so let me see if I can get you set up here let's see I'm gonna have to do it like this I guess So let me move all these out of the way. Move this big one out of the way because we don't need it. And we're gonna pour into here. So let's see if I can, let me try to adjust this a little more. All right, here we go. First time. Just making sure I'm scraping all the sides, getting everything in there. See a few bubbles in there already, just from pouring. That's a big cup to be dropping down into. I wish they were a little smaller. Make sure you get it all in there though. You want as much as you can to try to keep as equal parts as possible. One thing I noticed just at first doing it here is, you know, on the popsicle sticks, they're a lot smaller, a lot skinnier, so you can get down in there in that crack of that medicine cup and get all of it in, you know, pretty much all of it. Let's see where we're at there. Let's get my light out. You can't see it, but if I set it down here on the table and I look, I measured out 10 milliliters, and it's that first mark is just under under 10, so it's it's probably pretty close. At the other end, definitely seeing some bubbles down in there. Hopefully, we'll get those stirred out.
Try to get as much as I can out of there. I just hate, you know, pouring in these plastic cups and you can try to get it all out, but and maybe there's another way. I used to try to reuse these. I used to wipe them out. As soon as I was done, I'd wipe them out with paper towel and water and they'd still leave some residue in there and I don't know if it was hurting my cups or not. So we got it poured down in there. You can kind of see there's some bubbles in there. So we're going to stir. They stay, say stir slowly for about two to three minutes. I'm using KS resin. Um, I'm using the uh, Liquid Art UV epoxy. Definitely not as many bubbles as what it has using a popsicle stick. I don't know if it's because I've let it sit for longer. I thought I was ready to go and had to go do something in my garage and because I, you know, I build those tumbler turners and and sell them. Um, the more I mix, the more I'm seeing bubbles. So I don't know. Maybe I'm mixing too fast with KS resin. Um, I never really had an issue with bubbles. Um, when I was using the Amazing Clearcast. But the Amazing Clearcast, um, boy, the odor was really bad. And this didn't have any odor. And I know what you're saying. Where's my PPE? I'm getting ready to put it on. I should already had it on, but it's hard to talk through that mask. And uh, for you to be able to hear me, I already talked quiet. A um, lot of bubbles in there. But I do wear gloves, and I, I do wear a mask. Um, if you're interested in some KS resin, I will put a link in the description, um, which will give you a discount. Um, it's pretty good stuff. Um, it makes a good, a good clear picture, or not picture, um, cut. I haven't done it for mold yet. Um, I'm going to, but I've been busy. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, you know I'm making, I make dance tumblers for a studio here. And I've been busy doing those and making a custom tumbler for somebody. So I haven't had a chance to even look into what molds I would want to get. But I know I need to because I waste a lot of resin. But... I think that's good. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. There's quite a bit of bubbles in there. I don't notice a difference with the bubbles. Um, but I'm going to let this sit and uh, for a few minutes. And we'll see if the bubbles go away. Um, I will let you know in the description um, what the final result is with the bubbles. Um, but like I said, if you want to uh, get a discount use KS Resin, there's a link down there as well. This is the, the one I use. There's a part A and a part B. No odor whatsoever. If... Uh, you didn't know any better, you would have no idea you're working with resin, to be honest. So, anyways, I'm going to get my PPE on because I've been in here long enough, exposed to it. So, I need to get all that on. So, I'll show you the final uh, results in the uh, description and uh, let you know. Comment and let me know what you think.